So, thought I'd do another quick video, a bit of an update on the ideal and the wheat. Um, so we finished our canola and our barley onto the wheat, um, hoping to possibly get done before Christmas. It's currently the 16th today, I think, hopefully. Um, something like that, anyway. Yeah, anyway, we're into the wheat, and pretty happy with it. Um, had a few troubles earlier on just getting our settings right. Oh, just as I came in the paddock, first paddock of wheat, I, yeah, I didn't have the, quite the settings right, and our losses were a fair bit higher than what we wanted. Um, but instantly, I could, by looking in the chaff row, I knew straight away they were too high. Um, and yeah, got that down fixed, and now we're up around the, well, down around the 0.5 sort of percent, one percent, somewhere there. We're below one percent, so when the loss monitor's um, up in the yellow, she's on the one percent. So yeah, it's just you know we're, one, we're yeah we're absolutely bugger all. So um, our capacity, we're sort of sitting on a 50 odd ton an hour. Um, it just cooled off a bit here in the afternoon. The sea breeze came in, so we've dropped back a little bit. Um, we're still sort of sitting on the. Where are we? Yeah, a bit under 50 ton an hour there at the moment. Or a bit up a bit. There is a fair bit. Um, yeah, bloody all over the shop there at the moment. But yeah, 50 odd ton an hour, I think we're averaging. Um, I've got the uh, Harvest, I'm not sure what it's called, Harvest Plus, I think it's called, which is the automation. So you can see that little, that little green dial just there. That, um, that, get rid of that. That this, the machine's doing its own speed, so it's got. A, I believe it's got a uh, sensors in the feeder house that um, that just sort of measure the crop flow coming up the feeder house, and then that along with the um, a few bog marks here. Someone in the boom spray left them. Um, yeah, that along combined with the losses, so it never lets your losses go above or whatever point you set the losses to be. Um, it won't let losses go any higher than that and then it just drives, it just sets your speed to that. Um, which is, I've used it in other machines and I've never really been, I've never really used, no, I've, never, I've had it in other machines, I've never really used it. This is actually the first setup I've driven that I've actually used it. Um, normally I don't really bother with it, but yeah, I'm actually very much enjoying it, this one. You just, so you go along and then you put your joystick to the side until it goes green. And then you see it's in the green there now. And what's telling us right now, our engine loads a bit higher, so it's dropping us back a bit. Um, and you can see it constantly making adjustments there. Um, yeah, what well, you can see, um, it's fairly cruising along, just quite enjoys it. Feeds, um, this power, egg flow, uh, power flow front, sorry it's called. Feeds very good, we're very happy with that. Um, in the wheat, having a few issues with um, just the fact that we're cutting so low, we're just breaking the odd knife section, sickle section or whatever everyone calls them. Um, but that's, you know, that's our problem, we're our fault, we're cutting so low. Um, Apart from that, it feeds very, very well. We've had it in the barley. I had one night there where it wrapped a little bit, just started wrapping um, around the drum, around the auger. Uh, but there wasn't an issue. It was, I think I slowed down a bit. I lost about two or three ton an hour, five ton an hour capacity, um, which was very minimal. So you can see the machines, you can feel it, or I could feel it going faster and slower there now um, as the crop's getting lighter and heavier um it takes a while to set up that i was in to get you where you want it to be it takes a bit of time um but got it got it pretty good now where it's sitting at um show you the flow monitor again i, I haven't got it set so that it's um it's definitely not maximum there now it's it can, it's got a lot more in it um I can I can get it up to if I'm driving it myself as my chaser bin. If I'm driving it myself, I can get it up to about 60, 65 ton an hour. Just that's if I'm absolutely feeding it. Um, that's if it's really hot. Uh, right now it's only about not even 20 degrees. I think the sea breeze is coming. It's quite cool. Um, and yeah, we're sitting. We're holding our 50 ton an hour pretty well. Um, these big, nice, big open paddocks, big long run lines. Um, uh, yeah, so. Overall, we're very happy with the machine. Um, had a few teething problems earlier on. That obviously, yeah, issues that may or may not should have happened, shouldn't have happened. Um, but we've got over them now. 
um, and where yeah we haven't had an issue in all the cereals apart from a few sickle sections and um, yeah we haven't been stopped since then touch wood I just flick my auger out so to put the auger out you just flick it out once and the door goes beep and then the auger will start coming out um, we're on the control traffic runs control traffic so chase me drive went the whole way to the end of the run line turned around and came back through so we don't we're not too particular with it if it's um if we're a long way from the bins he just he'll just skip a tram um but if he's you're nice and close like he's at the moment he's keeping up okay um he got the whole way the tram so you can see we've got down here is our running counter so we've got 12 just on 12.2 ton there at the moment and um yeah well we're getting pretty full there but so by the time we unload we're we'll probably be around 13 13 and a half ton somewhere there sometimes around 14 Shocker block box is about 13 ton full. Um, so I should mention with the auto um, speed that when you engage your um, your auger, that it drops the uh, it drops the speed off and it sets your speed to a set speed. So it brings your speed back to whatever speed you were doing and just leaves it at that. It doesn't change your speed so that your grain cart driver isn't trying to keep up with you. Uh, well, yeah, check out the head of changing the speed all the time, so um, which doesn't, yeah, it's a pretty good grain, pretty good chase bin driver, so he's, he could do that, but it makes it easy for him, so doesn't have to do it. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. This, uh, haven't showed the unloading yet. The auger unloads in absolutely no time. Um, we're talking, yeah, I think it's about 90 odd seconds, I think something like that. Actually, you can probably check in the video, it might be a bit more than that. You can see um, it drops very, very fast. That's, uh, yeah, well, we're currently on 13 and a half ton. Just about empty. That's him right there, press the button. And uh, we're done. Bye bye, Mr. Chase Bin Driver. So that was, yeah, just under 14 ton for a box full unloading on the run, which is um, a fair bit, pretty decent. And he's away. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Enjoy.